Right, okay, this week's video is very, very simple. I bought this driver off Amazon for 99 UK pounds. The question is, can this really perform the same as a modern 500 pound driver or not? Well, according to the reviews on Amazon, then yes, they can. There is some, uh, well, it's all positivity in terms of pretty much every review that I read about this driver, which led me to buy it. My question is, can it compete up against the big boys and really sort of that four to 500 pound bracket now, which most drivers are in, I'm gonna pitch it up against the tailor-made Stealth and just see whether or not you can save a whole load of money or are you making in the long term just a big mistake. Now, before I actually hit a ball, I always say you buy with your eyes first and foremost. This has got a white matte finish on the crown and very much goes back to a few models from tailor-made themselves just a few years ago. I don't mind the finish to be honest with you, it looks okay and I like this, uh, the sort of uh, shape and profile of the head. One thing hopefully you can pick up from the camera work is there's a slight sort of almost indentation on the crown which isn't the best of starts from what I'm looking at above. But from underneath again, it's quite simplistic, it's uh, very much a one model, ten and a half degrees, titanium face, weight at the back, it suggests that there's kind of um, help in terms of CG, plenty of forgiveness, but the real interesting thing in this driver setup is the shaft itself. It's a regular shaft and you'll see it's very, very thin compared to standard driver shafts, but then at the top end, it's almost got like a bottleneck sort of finish to it. And it widens out again, pretty similar to the bubble shaft that we've seen many, many years ago. So in terms of looks, I kind of think it looks, it looks okay. I think it looks like 99 pounds worth of driver to be quite honest with you. So my question for this week's video is a simple one. How many of you out there would actually take the, I suppose an element of risk and buy a product off Amazon like this from a brand such as Maisel, which hasn't got a great history in terms of what we've seen before. I've reviewed their chipper. I've reviewed uh, a wedge of theirs. And they've been good products to be fair. But the driver, it's a hundred pounds. And like I said, a potentially huge saving. So would you take the chance and buy something offline of this sort? Or have you done it already? And what are your thoughts so far? Okay, so the shaft is regular. It's also a slightly shorter length shaft. So that'll be a great match up to the stealth that I'm gonna use with a 44 and a half inch shaft in. I'm gonna hit a golf ball and see what our sort of first impressions are. Well, I've had a decent ball, so that's a positive. It doesn't look to be overly long, but that was straight. The one thing that is notable straight away is this is louder than a Ping G425. My God, it's, it's hard. It's very, very hard. And I don't know whether that's just from a sound perspective or whether it's uh, actual feel, but it is really like hitting something. There's no responsiveness whatsoever out of it, but it did go straight. Let's try one more. That's leaked. Okay, so that's leaked quite a bit out to the right hand side. We'll put that down to my problem with my own swing issues. I'll switch up into the um, stealth and I'll give you an immediate thought on going from one driver to the other, what the differences are between 99 pounds and arguably closer to 500. It's a big, big difference. Well, first of all, I mean, the first thing I'd like to say there is just about stability in terms of stood over the ball profile, all those kind of things which are far superior with this. But the shaft, again, is one that's been fit for me. So let's not put that uh, too much of a discredit to the Maisel product. Oh, my word. I mean, I'm nailing this driver at the moment, so it's got a hard task to try and compete with this thing. That's visibly a lot longer. The sound is not even in the same league. Right now, we're seeing major, major differences in terms of just the way they look, the way they sound and feel. But for a lot of golfers, neither of those things are gonna matter. So ultimately, how far are these drives going and how do they compare in terms of dispersion and in terms of down that uh, bottom end, what sort of carry differences are we getting, if any? So I'm gonna hit a number of balls with Stealth, a number of balls with the Maisel driver, and let's see what differences there actually are. Now, of course, for many of you out there, you're gonna not expect to see any difference because I get endless comments each week that all COR is the same, so all driver heads are the same. Therefore, in terms of performance-wise and the carry distance, I'm not expecting to see a difference. Well, let me rephrase that. You're not expecting to see a difference, I am. 
Now the one thing to note with the Maisel product as I'm collecting data has been really visible is that I'm struggling not to hit the ball out with quite a big slice to be honest with you out to the right hand side and I'm having to really work hard to try and get the ball moving in any way to the left and it's not a case of moving it to the left it's just stopping it going right. So these kind of drivers again what worries me slightly is that this kind of driver at £99 would arguably be uh, a new golfer into the game, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, wants to uh, see if he likes the game first of all, he or she likes the game first of all. So to invest in something like this would be a sensible move. You, you know, you're not shelling out a huge amount of money if you decide that golf isn't for you. My worry is if you pick up this driver and you start slicing the ball as much as I am right now, you're already onto a massive downer and it's highly unlikely you're going to enjoy the game too much. So this is not something that, uh, and again, a little bit straighter, but still leaked out to that right hand side. And that's a major, major concern for me. A relevance of price just based on performance alone. This club is not what the masses are looking for, which is often a little bit of draw bias because as we know, most average golfer have that tendency to leak this thing outright. And if anything, this is starting to exaggerate that massively. That's a big issue. Oh. Now in recent weeks, many of you will know that I got a shaft that I was originally fit for in the Stealth product and the shaft is majorly important. I've already said there's a real weird thing going on in terms of that Maisel shaft. The thinness of it, the kind of bubble neck, I don't know whether it works or not, it's certainly not working for me right now, but the shaft is mega mega important and when we talk about the expense of how a product is put together, a shaft is a real big element of that, but it's very noticeable of where the price differences are and why one is £100 and one is nearer to that £500 mark. The question you've got to ask yourself is, is it justifiable to spend that extra money? Right, okay, there's no more I need to do in terms of this head-to-head -head, and uh, I'll very quickly go through numbers and we'll start with actually dispersion. You can see some blue uh, dots there, which is the stealth, which has been performing so good for me right now. There was highly unlikely this was ever going to compete with it, but at the end of the day, ultimately, that's what you're up against, whether or not, first of all, we've got a review of a product based on its performance and then we'll talk about the price thing as, uh, as a secondary. The red dots, again, I leaked most of the balls out, as you've seen, to the right-hand side. That was a real major struggle for me. I've already said why I've got concerns about that. Throw the averages on screen now, and a significant difference. At the end of the day, the Maisel did okay in terms of a carry distance, an average of 230. I'll put the data as I normally do right at the very end, so you can see sort of what it did across the board on every shot. The longest ball I hit was 240, but the shortest ball I hit was 217. So, Big variables in there and again when you talk about driver heads um, technology nowadays I would suggest that forgiveness is a major thing that has improved significantly in modern drivers. Um, ball speeds of 144 launching 12.5 spin in 2000 all decent numbers and not got an issue there it's done okay. Then you look at the stealth and again like I said I was fully expecting to see a difference or hoping to see a difference but it was a significant one. 250 carry, there's a real consistency in the numbers that you'll see at the very end there, sort of 12.7 launch angle again, just everything about it, spinning oddly a little bit low in terms of their numbers there today. Um, it's just done really, really well and you compare that then obviously to the uh, dispersion again. And we've got a clear winner, there's no doubt about that. The question you've got to ask yourself again, what I said in earlier clips, is that price difference, is it justifiable? For me, plays the game as much as I do, then all day long I would much prefer to spend my money in a longer term product than I would in something like the Maisel. And I'm still a little bit negative towards anybody even, like I said, however you want to buy this product, I was disappointed with it, I must admit, I was hoping that we could invest in £99 into a product that I could tell everybody that, look, you can save yourself a whole lot of money here um, and the performance is not as good, but you're saving a lot of money. The problem is you're saving a lot of money, but the performance is way different for me and that's a real negative. There's no way that I would ever come on here and endorse a product in that way, no matter how much money you are saving. And for me, the better option would be to buy a second-hand driver off eBay um, off of a brand that you're more familiar with. That's my honest assessment, I'm afraid to say. So, there is no more I can say on that. I was, like I said, I'm disappointed. I thought there would be 
a much smaller gap in terms of performance but clearly as with most things in life not everything you get what you pay for right that's me done hope you enjoyed that one uh, give me your comments i asked earlier have you used the product i'd love to know anybody else who's got it because a lot of positive um reviews left on the Maisel amazon site there so uh, if you're one of those people then please tell me i got this one wrong right as ever thanks for watching see you all soon